So that who, is who it is. We finally know the, the answer to the quiz that we've been talking about. Um, a new first for Britain's royal family. He's the first member of the royal family to ever appear on the cover of a gay publication. And if you guessed Prince William, you would be correct. Yes. That was going to be my 15th guess. <laughs> <laughs> the prince is following in the footsteps of his late mother, Princess Diana, lending his face and his voice to a cause he's passionate about. Okay, so he posed for the cover of Britain's Attitude magazine uh, just days before the Orlando nightclub massacre, of course, saying no one should be bullied for their sexuality or for any other reason. William has also established a task force on cyberbullying and has this piece of advice for any young person who is being bullied. Don't put up with it, and don't be ashamed to tur turn to a trusted adult for help. It's fantastic to see him on the cover. Yeah. It'd be great to see him next at Pride, Drag Queen Show. <laughs> we'll see how far S we can. Some glow sticks. See how far we can take it. <laughs> Not quite. And Taylor Swift apparently is having no problem shaking off Calvin she, Harris. She that is, blank space is full. It, it has now been filled. And she has moved on. Let's add another name <laughs> of Starbucks, Starbucks lovers to her list. Uh, just two weeks after the musical Power couple called it quits, T Swift was caught kissing English actor Tom Hiddleston. Mm -hmm. The British tabloid The Sun published a photo of the couple kissing on a rocky beach in Rhode Island. By the way, in front of dozens of onlookers, not okay. shy. Yeah, so the couple reportedly shared an instant spark after dancing during, oh, I saw this, during the Met Gala in May. And, um, and a source close to Taylor tells The Sun that Tom has been courting Taylor ever since and that she's been won over. Meanwhile, ex-boyfriend Calvin Harris has been Billy busy unfollowing Taylor Swift on Instagram yep. and Twitter. That's when it's official. Yeah, exactly. In fact, all of his uh, photos that he had with her on Instagram, I was just looking, no longer has. Erased on social media. Gone. That is the sign of a true breakup right yep. there. Ghosting. <laughs> Next, some stunning news from actress Helen Mirren. The 70-year-old Oscar winner has apparently been granted her wish. She's now confirmed to Elle magazine that she is going to appear On? in Fast 8. She'd earlier revealed that it's been her great ambition to appear in the Fast and Furious franchise. Okay, she tells Elle magazine, quote, I've always rather loved driving and that she's agreed to appear in Fast 8, but only if she's allowed to drive in it. That I want to see. Mirren also confessed during an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers last year that she has a crush on Vin Diesel. There you go. That's Now the we know the reason. Yeah. What about The Rock? Okay, so also confirmed to appear in Fast 8 <coughs> are Charlize Theron, Kurt Russell, and Scott Eastwood. By the way, I want to appear too, so. Since they're putting everybody in it. Well, there's some celebrity baby news, by the way. Yes, okay, yeah, another baby on the way for Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. The couple who married last July already parents a 20-month-old daughter, Wyatt Isabel. Well, Kunis told Entertainment Tonight this past May that she's mastered the balancing act of being a great partner, great wife, and a great mama. Kutcher says he couldn't be happier.